And UConn was a minus five in that category, too. Yeah, and Kevin Ollie, when we were speaking to him today, was trying to utilize his mathematical skill to figure out what kind of... The elbow at that point. Great steal. Roma. Roma brings an awful lot of experience. Played at George Washington University for... And you talk about small. She's about 5'9". Boy, Thomas says, I like him. Rima so active. And then Chroma finishing inside. It is in here. Kevin Allen was saying today he was disappointed they only got a nice shot. Boatwright, head of steam, handing it off. And Lasan Chroma coming in off the wing to finish. Get that triple double tonight. I'm not sure we'll see him back in there. A beautiful move, Lasan Chroma. Gretzky had a lot more room. A lot more room behind the net in hockey <laughs> than there is behind the rim. We get the point. And knocking down the perimeter shot is Lasan Chroma. Shot clock down to eight. Chroma gets the friendly rim. Bonley in foul trouble. And Olander is going to play right with Bonley. Chroma rattles it down with the use of the glass. The Hallwell, and Hallwell runs right into Sheehy. Boatwright in the high dribble, drops to the Chroma. Lack of execution and sharpness offensively for Connecticut. Chroma right to the 10. It's now on a 10-4 run to get back in the game. Chroma all the game, and that's off the back iron, and Connecticut has numbers five on one, and Chroma finishing off the wing. Roma from the left side. Big bucket right there for Connecticut. Good balance. Roma now in double figures. He's got Teddy. Knocks it away ahead of the field. And Lasan Crow. Center and then opposite. That's Roma. Try to get into body to body contact with other big people. Roma. Nothing but nets. Three pointer from Lasan Croma. An exam. Good scheduling because her knee might have been a little bit down. Just scheduling a little high. Daniel, season opening. Back outside. Great touch pass. Oh, and UConn's got it going right now. Daniels, the help comes, so he's in trouble. Swing it all the way across court. Croma with a three pointer. Oh, stolen. Ahead of the pack is Chroma. Yes! Devastating. Those last two possessions by Stanford. Not Memphis, Memphis too, a, yeah. a team that has Josh Passner and a, a lot of guards. Such great guards in the American Conference. Recently earning MVP honors in a prestigious national tournament. The Cruel Classic tip in good. That's going to happen when you have the keys of the car held by a freshman and UConn countering at the other end with Chroma. The defensive end and, and that's helped jumpstart them on the offensive end. Great job by Chroma. Man, he's been big off the bench in this first half. And another bucket at the other end by the UConn Huskies. Nice foray into the paint of the bucket for Chroma. Pass tipped away by Napier and taken back by Chroma. Chroma with the slam. And they turn it over again. Chroma got the layup to go. That offense won't get it done. Just a series of dribble handoffs, and then UConn will take advantage. Hassan Chroma attacking. Tyler Harvey out of control. Leads to a breakout the other way. Chroma trailing. And the five sets the screen for Boatwright. Running the baseline was Chroma, counted in the foul. Used to winning national championships, they know what it takes, so it's going to take some adjustments. And it starts on the defensive end of the floor. We've seen two straight possessions here. For Napier. Chroma got some space. In transition, Chroma finishes. It's the best the Knicks have played all season. UConn gets an easy one. Stan, he wants to take it in the lane and go all the way to the rim. The help has to come much sooner. 
Strong drive that time for Kroma. His first bucket on the block. Kroma starts the break. A bullet from Napier. Open look. Bring it up. Important. This is what they did not do in their Texas trip. Run out. Kroma from Giffy to lay it in. Napier off the Giffy screen. Extra pass. Kroma. Turnover for UCF. Bolt right. On the push. Off to Kroma. The three point land by Jackson, who averages 15 a game. He's the senior and the leader. But a quick strike. He was disqualified six times last year. If he can stay in the lineup, spin move on the baseline. Is that ever silky smooth by Chroma? Well, son, Chroma, that's a terrific pass ahead here by Shabazz Napier. He's got Shaq Goodwin on him. Just gave him a little spin move and then came back to the corner. That's a really good individual move. <laughs> Man, did he hop in there. Chroma, yes, all net on a three. Eisenberg uncertainty principle. You know where he is, you don't know where he's going. Chroma, the short jumper and all net. Oh, that's pretty good. That little baseline runner. He's done some really nice things. Chroma again to drive it to the left hand for two. Just a smart play by Chroma. He had Michael Dixon on him. He's got four fouls. Drive him, put him in the position to foul, and he may back off a bit. Grima, who last week had a terrific game, 20 points, 8 rebounds, 5 blocks. Another 3, this time it's Chroma from the corner. Second 3 already for the Huskies. And Rozier getting the start, Chris Jones out with an injury, Rozier turns it over, Chroma! I tell you one thing, Chroma's been very impressive here. He's been out, and he's been out longer than I thought he would be out. Nice finish there from Lasan Chroma. Not an easy thing to do. You don't want to be the man after the man. You want to be the man after the man after the man. Yeah. Steal by Yukon Chroma. Coast to coast. E2 trying to corral and Boltwright comes out of the pack. To Chroma. Goaltend. A turnover. Good defense by Nolan. Napier to Boltwright. Off to the trailer in Chroma. Houston still scoreless. Chance of let's go Huskies from the students here at Gampel Pavilion. Chroma knocks down the three. And the rebound to guess who? Shabazz Napier. Quick pass to Chroma. That's a three and another one for Chroma. And another timeout for Houston. It's 16 to three. You're seeing here UConn, one of the top three point percentage shooting teams in the country. They shoot 41% as a team. They make almost eight a game. It's a huge part of their offense. But how about Shabazz Napier, one of the better defensive rebounders in the league? And Chroma doesn't shoot a lot of them, but he shoots a good percentage. That's why this team is so tough. And in this building, their transition threes are a huge part of their game. Napier guarded by Gwynn. This is Chroma, the transfer student from GW, a graduate student, and he hits his first shot. Calhoun in for the first time. And a nice driving layup by Chroma. What a great play. And what a great job. Coming out of the timeout, I call it special situation. Who had that tough fall in the first half, starts the second half. With Napier, great bounce pass, and Chroma with the easy layup. If you're the guy being screened, you have to be super aggressive, don't you? You've got to play into his body and force everything to a chance. Chroma, what a beautiful spin to the baseline. Nolan, another player that started a number of games last year, has accepted his new role. Chroma with a drive, the bucket, and draws the foul. Sykes preseason, the second team all conference. This been, game has been physical from the very beginning. Done one thing consistently well all year, and that was rebound. But not today. They're just getting killed on the boards. And Lasan Chroma buries a three. <laughs> Probably underage. Bro. Newell with a miss. Had it knocked away. Chroma, nice save. And a great body control by Chroma. Bad pass by Newell. Chroma got it and draws the foul. 
Gotta admire Sykes. He just plays so hard all the time. That's gonna be a goaltend on Blair. Everything in the book. He's trying to cut down on these consecutive losses. He may have found something right here. Oh, what a tough shot by Chroma. But you learn in situations like that that you gotta be sure. Excellent drive into the middle by Chroma. She was what off what a push, an early, just some early offense. I think that can kind of give them some opportunities. Chroma, tough drive to shoot. Into the lane, has it knocked away. Chroma on the run out. But when you need that extra big body, he's available. Reach in, steal by Chroma. Take it himself. Chroma saw his advantage against Dixon and then went down hard after the contact. Goodwin trying to get inside. Double team. Here's the steal. Run out for UConn. Chroma, the beneficiary. And Josh Pastor wants a timeout. And on it again. Still loose. Taken down by UConn. Ahead to Chroma. And Chroma will score. And he draws the foul from DeCozy. Kick out Lasan Chroma. That time he's got it. Hits a three. First five possessions of the game for the Bulls. 0 for 4 from the field. They'll get a chance here. Chroma, the pick. Chroma elevates for the flush. Lasan Chroma. And I'm still with that thought. <laughs> Look at the replay from our great crew. Chroma drives in, and a chance for a three-point play. 25% for three-point land. They should, Bull should very rarely shoot a three. Chroma hits a three. Knocks down the three. Defy asking for the ball inside instead. Chroma will try a jump shot, and both teams starting to shoot a little better. 6.50 to go in a very low scoring, defensively dominated ball game. Neal's Defy with a rebound. Samuel on the run. Great bounce pass to Chroma. And that he was high level. Turned the Bearcats over 20 times in that game. Chroma all alone. Nice. He's got some ability. You mentioned coming from GW. Short. Rebound. And that's not good. That's You've good. obviously you spent your career coaching in the Big East tournament. This is the first year that UConn's in the American tournament. The beat, don't you, with his progress as a center? Yeah. Here's Gafai at the other end. Got it. And smart play. This is shaping up to be the same kind of ball game. Pretty oh, oh. nice, huh? Good yeah. nice. Going left, strong post pass. Whoa! What a reversal. Outside, quickly. How about that? Pretty good penetration. God, I think. Ten on the shot clock. Kick in the corner. That's Chroma. That's three, and UConn has the lead. Nice job by Boatwright with the fine. First lead for UConn. There's Kevin Garden over there on the sideline. Reminds me of Louis kind of second in the old days. Baseline jumper is good. What does that help? You saw him dribble drive, but this time Chroma filling it up deep. Protected by Brima, who just come in. Bounce pass, and the shot rattles home. That was Chroma, who also had just entered the game. Underneath, wide open, and falling right on top of Chroma. Just a horrendous defensive possession yeah. for Kentucky. If you're not going to foul, then don't foul. And, and don't leave the guy wide open underneath. It was like a late double team that really wasn't necessary. It looked like Young just left his man. And, Steve, I really felt once he made the foul to call the timeout, you almost have to foul at that point because, remember, this is also a great free throw shooting team. He's now seven of seven in the tournament. It just, that was a, I mean, again, it's a young team. That's one of the disadvantages to the inexperience because you got to make sure they know what you want to do. But boy, that's a critical decision by Calipari that may backfire. And Poitras 
with his fourth foul. UConn 10 for 10 at the line.